Hey. Hey! My old man? And welcome back, Steve, to the rerun of FF10. If you're here, you've already seen the other one, you already know what's going on. So sit back, relax, watch a movie. I thought about a lot of things. Like, where I was, what I got myself into. I started to feel lightheaded, and then sleepy. I think I had a dream. A dream of being alone. I wanted someone, anyone, beside me. So I didn't have to feel alone anymore. So over here is where you can compile your Albed primers from all your saved games. I had played a little bit before so I thought I might have some primers. Turns out I had one. And when I say I had one, I mean yes, one. Oh, it's potions. So I'll swim back over to the other side and try to decipher the wall to no of no avail because yes this game has a whole new language you can learn throughout the, throughout the game and then if you find all the primers each primer is one letter you can decipher their whole language restart the game load your primers in and then all this nonsense it's showing you right now be all deciphered for you. I think it's all, if I, if I remember correctly, it's all simply hints, or maybe not hints, maybe just it's just literal directions on where to find optional treasures or bosses. Back in the day, I didn't even look at it. I just, you know, looked it up in some guide of what uh, code to enter into the airship. Yeah, you get an airship later. 
to get all the cool stuff. Like the ultimate weapons and fight all the optional enemies. Even though most of the optional enemies are in the calm lands at the monster arena. But we'll get to that a lot later. Until then, let's jump into this water. And of course, be attacked by some fish. Or more precisely, Sajins? Sahajins? Sahajins? They could pause it right there. You'll see their name and how to pronounce it yourself. big boy. A boss later in the game. Optional, you come back here if you want to and fight him. I think. I think that's right. We'll find out. I don't know if he can kill you here. I assume he can. If you remember the in the other video with the tentacle, it just kept casting Demi, which can't ever kill you. It looks like this guy's attacks do 50% damage each time. So still, can't, can't die. And then you just run away. made it out of the frying pan and into the freezer. I thought I was going to die in this place. And here's where you see me try to move and get stuck on everything. This will happen a lot. Get used to it. Need fire, so look, it's a campfire. 
It used to be. Simple quest. Light the fire. Gotta find a few things first. Run over here. Save game. Move on. Hey look! Flint! Can't really get lost in this game. Pretty straightforward. Up here is your tinder, your withered bouquet. Keep moving along. As you do in all these types of games. For a ch sweet chest. Check all the nooks and crannies just in case. And done. Boom. Quest complete. Finally, a fight you can actually die in, I think. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually died here, because why would you? But you can, I think. This is a click. Pretty strong for one guy at this low level. But, last long enough. And... You receive help. Now she must think she's pretty badass. You on my side? Cool. Because all her buddies could have just shot him to death. They had guns, right? You saw that. But instead, she's gonna use her hands. And grenades, okay, she has grenades. 
and then she can steal the grenade back from the enemy. So it's like, what, a reusable grenade? Plot holes. Just saying. Kid, did die jump. Hey, that hurts. Musujek, rain. Whoa. Okay. Kainis. Right. Whatever. Do we hood kabeg? I said I don't understand. Fed! He said you can stay if you make yourself useful. You... you understand me? All right, I'll work. So, you remember that language we need to decipher throughout the game? It's because of these guys. These are the Albed. Some of them. Oh, almost forgot. And here is your tutorial for the sphere grid. If you would zoom out, which I think you do later, you'll see it looks kind of big and intimidating. But you move very slowly, which gives you lots of time to learn. Only a few actual choices to make. It's pretty linear unless you're using Kamari. If you're using Kamari, I, I don't know who you are. I know he, what is in theory the strongest character in the game. I just could never use him. Maybe I should have sped up the, this. But just in case someone really wants to understand the ins and outs, 
of the game and how you build your characters and everything without actually playing the game. Here it is for you. And look, I can do it myself. I had one point to put in to give myself cheer. Now I can make everybody happy. Which raises your, uh, I don't know, strength and defense, I think. He speaks nonsense. They all speak nonsense. The guy in the blue, the mohawk, his name is his name is actually brother. It's not active now, but there should still be some power left. We're gonna go down there and activate it. And then we should be able to salvage the big prize. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's get to work. Roger. More on them later. Alright, now on to the mission. Go down here, follow this chain, turn power on. Easy. Look, this is the first time you actually have random encounters against fish. Piranha, sure. Look, stole three, was that three grenades? Two grenades? I didn't see. Stealing grenades from fish. Man, what are these things eating? General rule of thumb, always steal. At least the first time. If you've never encountered the enemy before, definitely steal. the first real boss fight against Tross.
he maneuvers around to power up his big move. And at first I just heal, can't really do anything. Until your characters realize, oh, guess what? We can swim around to stop him. <laughs> but it takes being hit twice. Now this whole moving system isn't actually very prominent throughout the game, if I remember correctly. It's kind of weird that they push it like this, this early in the game. Like this whole pincer attack? I don't know if you ever use this again. Sometimes in boss fights you'll have unique things like this, I guess. You can talk sometimes. Which usually buffs your party or your character you're talking with. But nothing to this extent, I think. And done! Futra airship! Dradanuk van a neck. Hoof, roof to Tonga Deeb. We, Wicheta! Hey! Hey, I helped out, didn't I? It's good. 
because you eat too fast. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey! <sighs> Hello there. What is your name? Riku. Whoa! You really do understand. Huh? <laughs> uh, why didn't you say so earlier? I didn't get a chance to. Everyone thought we were a fiend. Uh, we? Oh, we means you. Um... Who are you guys, anyway? We're out bed. Can't you tell? Wait, you're not an out bed hater, are you? I don't even know what an out bed is. Where are you from? Xanarkin. I'm a blitz ball player. <clears throat> Star player of the Xanarkin Abes. Did you hit your head or something? Um, you guys hit me? Oh, right. Do you remember anything before that? So I told her everything there was to tell about Xanarkin. About life there, Blitzball, and Sin's attack. And about how Aran and I were engulfed in this light. I just said things as they came to mind. But then I started to wonder. Did I say something funny? You were near sin. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, you'll be better in no time. They say your head gets funny when sin is near. Maybe you just had some kind of dream? You mean I'm sick? Because of Sin's toxin, yeah. You sure? Yeah, there is no Xanarkand anymore. Sin destroyed it a thousand years ago. So no one plays Blitzball there. Huh? Wha wha what do you mean, a thousand years ago? But I saw Sin attack Xanarkand. You're saying that happened a thousand years ago? No way! Well, here's a good stopping point. Probably end the video here after this next clip. Oh, I've got to level up, of course. Looks like we don't have the sphere to get our defense up. So, just hold on to that for later. Look around here, nothing here. Okay. Continue. You we'll see you guys next time. You play Blitzball? Uh-huh. You know, you should go to Luca. Someone might know who you are, or you might find someone you recognize. Luca? Ah. Uh. Huh. <sighs> Okay, leave it to me. I'll get you to Luca. Promise. <laughs> You'd rather stay here? Uh-uh. Okay, I'll go tell the others. Wait here. Oh, and one thing. Don't tell anyone you're from Xanarkand, okay? Yevon says it's a holy place. You might upset someone. Oh, uh-huh. My Xanarkand? Some kind of holy place? Yeah, right, I thought. Since when? Yevon? Sin? Luca? 
I thought Sin just took me to a faraway place, that I could go back in a day or two. But a thousand years into the future? No way! Tonic! Tonic! <laughs> 